Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a homily by Saint Amadeus of Luasan. Bishop Queen of the world and of peace. Observe how fitting it was that even before her assumption, the name of Mary shone forth wondrously throughout the world. Her fame spread everywhere even before she was raised above the heavens in her magnificence. Because of the honor due her son, it was indeed fitting for the Virgin Mother to have first ruled upon earth and then be raised up to heaven in glory. It was fitting that her fame be spread in this world below so that she might enter the heights of heaven on overwhelming blessedness. Just as she was born from virtue to virtue by the Spirit of the Lord. She was transported from earthly renown to heavenly brightness. So it was that she began to taste the fruits of her future reign while still in the flesh. At one moment, she withdrew to God in ecstasy. At the next, she would bend down to her neighbors with indescribable love. In heaven, angels served her while here on earth she was venerated by the service of men. Gabriel and the angels waited upon her in heaven. The Virgin John, rejoicing that the Virgin Mother was entrusted to him at the cross, cared for her with the other apostles here below. The angels rejoiced to see their queen. The apostles rejoiced to see their lady. And both 
obeyed her with loving devotion. She is a bride, so gentle and affectionate, and the mother of the only true bridegroom. In her abundant goodness, she has channeled the spring of reason's garden. The well of living and life-giving waters that pour forth in a rushing stream. From divine Lebanon and flow down from Mount Zion until they surround the shores of every far flung nation. With divine assistance, she has redirected these waters and made them into streams of peace and pools of grace. Therefore, when the Virgin of Virgins was led forth by God and her Son, the King of Kings, amid the company of exulting angels and rejoicing archangels with the heavens ringing with praise. The prophecy of the psalmist was fulfilled in which he said to the Lord, At your right hand, stands the queen clothed in gold of Ophir. From the Desert With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.